Jessica here, um, doing a what's in my diaper bag for you. Um, I've never done one of these before. This is the first actual video, I think, full video on my channel. So yeah, definitely hit the subscribe, the like, comment below. Always love to hear from you guys. So anyway, this is what the diaper bag looks like. It's from Hip Cub. I got it off Amazon, and if I can find the link below, I will definitely put it in the description. So, it's a pretty nice bag. It's not perfect, but it's pretty nice. I have these two pockets in the front, and these are what I use for my stuff, and then this one I use for my son Alexander, who's a toddler. So, in this one, I have just my wallet, and this one, I don't know why my wallet's in that one, but anyway, this one I have some Johnson Body Care Melt Away Stress Lavender and Chamomile Lotion. Got this stuff at Babies R Us. A long time ago, actually. And then I have some EOS Hand Lotion. Love EOS. Um, so soft. It smells really great. It's actually in the scent Raspberry. And then I have my Blistex Deep Renewal um, Anti-Aging Treatment for my lips. I love this stuff. It keeps your lips really moist. It lasts really long. And and I have a carrot tie. So it has these leather straps. Um, I don't really like using the small the small straps. It also comes with this over the shoulder strap right here leather um this is what i use most of it most of the time because this goes really high on my shoulders and i just don't like that um it also has on the side right here it also has these um stroller straps but it doesn't quite fit onto my stroller so i don't really use them i'm trying to figure out how to actually do this because I'm sorry, but I have a 10 year old and he never had bags like this. And my younger son, I just had like a plain Walmart diaper bag. So I'm still not sure how to really do this. I know that this does strap on the sides right here. And then this part, I believe, is supposed to go onto my stroller. But like I said, my stroller doesn't have exactly a way of doing it. So, yeah. And to the side here I have my um, diaper bag disposal and this is lavender. This is for when I'm breastfeeding her um, so I can put it around and just put her in there. So I have that. And then this is what is sort of like what's all in my bag. I just have a diaper. <clears throat> I have a couple diapers in here. Um, this is the Pampers in the size of the newborn. Um, my hospital provides diapers. Pretty much every hospital nowadays provides the diapers for babies. But I like to have that in there, you know, just in case. And then I also have some Kleenex, just wanted to say. And I have, again, a 10-year-old. I have a 2-year-old. And me would be impregnant, so we're constantly using these our nose, our hands, our face. So yeah, I, I have to have these on hand at all times. Then I have her receiving blanket. Again, this is something that the hospital provides, but I still like to bring these things just in case anything can happen. It's really pretty, this blue with the polka dots. I got this for my baby shower. And then I also have in here this cute little um little bird the pink and green so cute little i love girly colors so i've got those well only two of them in there <clears throat> and then i have this um 
this baby bib it just says love with the elephant on it from Gerber and then I have this one just another elephant mommy elephant and baby elephant in blue I love blue and purple and pink for girls but I'm getting more into the teal type thing there's a little hearts on here I also bought this thing because I couldn't never breastfeed before my oldest and my youngest so this just you know you can keep track of everything in here you put the date the time which um, boob the baby was on the left the right for how long and then down here you just mark off how many um, how many wet diapers they have what kind of wet diapers so I mean it was only three dollars at Marshall's so why not if I figure it'll help it'll help like I said I couldn't do it before I also have this which is just my um, first aid kit for my toddler you know toddlers always getting bumps and bruises and then I have in here also this little remedies kit that I bought um, again mainly for my toddler I put this stuff in there because if we're in the hospital and he's sitting down you know anything can happen it's actually been sick lately so I have some gripe water come on focus after he got out of the hospital he would constantly be fussy because he had colic and I heard so many great things about gripe water I never used it I have that and then I have some decongestant nose drops um, especially for my toddler because lately he's been kind of congested with the cold. So I have those. Then I have some saline spray drops. Then in here I have some infant fever pain reliever. On this side I have some gas relief drops. Mainly the only thing I can use for her really is going to be the saline. And then the gripe water. Everything else is mainly for him. And then here I have my little, um, my medicine. And then I have another medicine thing. And then I have this little chart that tells you, it's really cute, it tells you, um, you know, the products, the active ingredients, how much to give, how much for weight. Because when you have a baby, you really go by weight. You don't go by the age. So yes, we got that, the little remedies. Yeah, I got that, the little remedies, that up there. Put this stuff over here. Okay, next we have clothes. <clears throat> now, the, she's probably not going to be in a lot of clothes um, when we're there, because like I said, the hospital pretty much provides diapers, wipes, clothes, blankets, receiving blankets, everything. But I have this little sleeper right here. Little cute sleeper with the little bears. And then I have this little sleeper and it has little little tiny owls. I really see it. Yeah, little owls. So little. I have mixed sizes. I have newborn, I have zero to three because my doctor said she is gonna be a pretty big baby, between eight to nine pounds, which is how big Alex was, my toddler. And then I have this one, this little onesie with the elephant. And then I have some little pants, gray pants. Then I have this onesie with the little heart dots. Then I have, yes, I have a lot of onesies. And then I have this, which it says Daddy's Princess. A little background, I have a 10 year old, I have a 2 year old like I said, and I also have a uh, stepdaughter who is 10 years old <clears throat> from my um, fiance. And this is me and his first little girl. And this I actually got at my baby shower too. This is so cute. So simple. I like simple. I'm not really too extravagant to be honest. And then this goes with this. This is probably going to be her coming home outfit. I'm just keeping it really lazy. Because <laughs> telling you when I'm coming home, I'm not going to want to go to the extreme. But it has this little heart. <clears throat> I 
And then I have these little feet pajamas, little feet parts. I like these things. I like clothes that have the hands that cover and the feet that cover. Because with my boys, they always took off the mittens. That was a waste. And then I have this thing right here. I got it once upon a child. This long sleeve. I have a couple of short sleeves, a couple of long sleeve. The long sleeve, you know, it's cold in the hospital. She's going to be wrapped up and everything, but living in Florida, you never know here. The weather's always constantly changing. And then I have a little, a little hat my friend gave me at my baby shower. And then I have some little socks. I have another pair of little socks. I have a couple of little hair bows because I'm going to take a lot of pictures of her, which is mainly one of the reasons why I have these clothes. My husband's going to take a lot of pictures of her. Um, little hair bows. And I just have this to put my husband's earphones in. He can listen to music in case it is isn't in labor. Also bringing my prenatal multivitamin with folic acid from Spring Valley. The prenatal health for use before, during, and after. <clears throat> and then I have the changing pad, nothing too special, but it's striped and then black. And I think that's pretty much all for the bag. And then the inside, can't really see, but it has the zipper. And then turn it around. I have in here, oh yeah, I more. And I have those diapers from the Honest Company, the samples I got. And I have in here some breast pads. which a hospital provides, but I still like to provide anyway. I have some extra tissues. I have some hand sanitizer. Constantly hand sanitizing my hands and washing my hands. Can't stand. They're dirty. And then I have some diaper rash cream, zinc oxide ointment, and that's it. And the two pockets in here. So, yep. And that's my diaper bag. Just give you a quick view everything again and 